Hi everybody, welcome to Cooking with Dana. Today we are going to learn how to do crock pot bread. First, you're going to need to make your yeast blue. It's just one package of dried yeast. You need one and one half tablespoon of sugar and one and one half cup of lukewarm water. I've already put that in here so it can start blooming. And then while that is doing its little thing, I get the parchment paper out. You don't need much. You just need it to line your crock pot. And then what I usually do, just so it makes sure it does not stick, is I go ahead and spray it with some vegetable oil. You can put as little or as much as you want. Make sure you get a little nicks and crannies. And then you just set that aside. And as you can see here, my yeast has started to bloom. And with that, we are going to add one tablespoon of salt. Sorry, that's one teaspoon, excuse me. One teaspoon of salt. And it's one tablespoon of olive oil. This is three and three-fourths cup of all-purpose flour. The recipe calls for all-purpose flour, but I am sure that you could probably use bread flour if you need to. Um, I'm not real sure about self-rising, but I'm sure that you could use the bread flour. And you would just want to put that in there. Now, it calls for kneading for five minutes. But since I have this handy-dandy machine, I am going to need let this do all the work for me. There you go. And I start off slow so it doesn't spray me. And then you just let that work its little self until it all becomes one big ball. And it comes together pretty quickly. Now while that's doing it, you're going to need to get a little bit of aluminum foil or if you have one of those Tupperware things that you did back at the bottom. The pies on. But I use just a little piece of aluminum foil. And then just a little bit of extra flour. You're just going to need to make sure this all comes together in a nice, pretty. As you see, it's starting to form its ball now. Just take a few more minutes. I'm actually going to turn it up a little bit. There we go. Now let's see if I can get this to raise up like it's supposed to. hook and it's really tacky so you just got the extra flour and you're just going to need it for a few minutes just to make sure that it's not too wet Until it stops being tacky. I'm gonna, I put it in a nice little pretty and then you just transfer it over to your crock pot. And then the best part, you put your lid on, you turn it on high. And you walk away. Two hours later, you will come back. Look at the extra dough off my finger. Just so it can look pretty. And then when you come back in two hours, you have this. Now, what I do is after it cooked, 
I took it out and I put it under the broil for about two minutes just to give it a nice color on top. And you can see the bottom is nicely, and that's what you get for in here. But if you want the top to be a little bit brown also, you just put it in the broiler for like two minutes. You want it to cool completely until you start slicing it open. Unless you're just really impatient like I am and you got that butter ready. Because you will probably eat all of it. And then if put a little bit of jam on it and in the morning cook you a little bacon and make you a sandwich out of it. Thank y'all for joining me. I can't wait to see y'all's comments on how the bread that you baked worked out.